Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Snake Doc here and we're going to do another unboxing video today. I said I was going to be done buying stuff and things just kind of fell into place and I ended up picking up a Taurus 856. So we're going to open it up here and see what all it comes with. So lifetime warranty. Um, here's the uh, activate your warranty immediately. And I do have a surprise um, because I looked this over when I picked it up, and uh, so I'll tell you about that in a minute. Uh, Thirty dollars off of Viridian laser grip, and here's your owner's manual. Looks like color pictures, exploded view diagram at the end, and it has it for all the different models now. So the 856, what it is, it's an updated Model 85. So instead of being a five shot 38 Special, it's a six shot 38 Special. Bigger cylinder. It's available in an ultralight model, which has an aluminum frame instead of a steel frame. And that would be the 856 UL. And they have that in several different color variants um, where they anodize the frame. Um, there's like a burnt orange, a blue, um, a, t a gold, goldish bronze tan. Um, there's a two-tone silver, um, and then there's also a full stainless version, and then this one is the carbon steel version with a nitride or blackened finish on it. Uh, so you can see it comes with a chamber disc to show you that there is no ammunition in the cylinder, and there you can see we have a six-shot cylinder. There you get a good look at it. Um, this is your ejection rod, and on a, usually on a 2-inch snub like this, they won't fully expel your cases, so it is advantageous to use gravity and tip your revolver up and give that a smack, and that usually helps. Um, so this has a push forward to release the cylinder, uh, which is like Smith & Wesson. Um, Colt and Rock Island have it where you pull it away. Uh, this is, of course, single action, double action, so it can be cocked and fired in that position. And it can also be just fired double action only. I will say this has an extremely stout double action pull on it from the factory. There are spring kits available to change that should you desire, or if it's too much for your hands, if you have a hand strength issue. Or you can just go to single action um, if you have time, if you're using it in a defensive role. And then you will get a really nice short, look at how short that single action trigger is, and I'll show you this way. So super, super nice. Uh, you can see that the extraction rod is shrouded, and it has a pinned in front sight that is removable and replaceable. Um, I saw on the Taurus forum where somebody took a excess big dot sight for a Smith & Wesson J-frame, I believe, and they just filed down the sides of it until it fit into the slot and then drilled and pinned it. <clears throat> so the Taurus uh, Defender series, which is the 3-inch 856 that they have, has a tritium fiber optic front sight. So you may be able to buy that direct from Taurus. I haven't looked. Um, or you can just do what most people do with um, trough and fin type sights is they just throw some either white out or some hobby paint or some nail polish up here. And that'll give you a decent sight picture. Let's see here, I'll use that box as a background and there you can see what the sight picture is. So it's square, square notch in the back and then of course your front sight is going to look like a square because it is a ramp. And there it is in the single action. So you can see the transfer bar right there. So it does have a transfer bar safety in there. Has an extremely nice grip. Look at the palm swell on that grip. So it has a nice bulge right here. Very ergonomic. It's held in, in by a, a roll pin. And for me, uh, I cannot get my pinky on there whatsoever. So my pinky just flies. Uh, but it does have nice soft checkering on the back and this really nice beaded texture on the sides and this is a rubber 
composite material. And on both sides, you get this, uh, you know, where you can, like a shelf where you can index your pointer finger, or trigger finger if you're right-handed on either side. And it's a good spot to use as memory for stacking your thumbs so that you don't get any blast out the side of the revolver shredding or throwing powder and debris all over the side of your hand. So overall, I think it's an awesome carry option, home defense option, uh, tackle box option, toolbox option, glove box option. Um, what else can I say about it? Two shot, um, two inch barrel, the, the three inch barrel version is called the Defender and that's available in lots of variations as well as with um, VZ G10 grips from the factory and that cool sight that I was talking about. Um, this is made in Brazil and imported to the Georgia factory and then distributed there. It comes with the lock and then it comes with that, that uh, chamber disc, if that's what you want to call it. Cylinder spins nice and the lock up and everything is good. Um, there's just a tiny bit of jiggle there, but that's expected. Um, I checked it in each lockup position and there's no front to back play that's discernible. Um, and the only thing I would say about this finish is like it's already, I've only hand cycled this. I haven't fired it or anything and I don't even know if they test fire it. But it's already creating a, uh, a turn line on this cylinder. And I know that this blackened finish is prone to showing some wear. And then if you look here on the face, you can see some bright spots already showing just from the cylinder opening and closing. Uh, this is a take a look at the crown here. I'll see if I can get a good. It has a nice uh, crown job on it. But the problem that I ran into with this one, so um, full disclosure here, I've been in contact with Taurus already. I just picked this up today and I already had to call him today. Unfortunately, the store that I got this from is like sort of like a, a Dick's Sporting Goods. It's regional though. So it's like a box athletic store and like they're gun handling at the counter. They don't let you do anything. So I ordered this through their... Um, gun site on their own websites like a takes you to like a shooting sports page because they didn't have these in store and i had it shipped to the store through their you know supplier whoever they use whatever and i i got this for 300 bucks um but again they wouldn't really let me do anything they had the lock on there they had the lock through the cylinder and like up through the barrel and they wouldn't you know i couldn't like handle it and check it out before I accepted the transfer. So I get it home and I'm looking at it and I see the barrel is canted like crazy. So it is um, this way. It is, it is this bottom part, if you look at it, if you drew a straight line right here, the bottom part of this um, exposed uh, extractor cover here is tilted that way. Let's see if you can see there. You can see how canted that is. So, um, you know, if you're looking at it this way, that would mean that they over, over torqued it. So it would need to be turned back out. Um, or maybe they'll give me a new gun. I don't know. I don't know how they handle that. I'm not sure how they straighten the, the canted barrels on revolvers exactly if they unthread them all the way and lock tight them and then clock them and do all that stuff to them or what but I'll find out so I wanted to do an unboxing review real quick and I have a couple holsters coming that I'm going to do a video on before I send this uh, back to Taurus and let them deal with uh, this issue so I planned on just throwing this out in the back garage this year you know I it's almost it's spring right now and it will be summer shortly thank God. And I do a ton of work on stuff. I'm always out in the garage and stuff. And I would just kind of wanted a revolver to stick into, um, an easy access location out there. 
Um, cause a lot of times when I'm working on stuff, I can't have anything on me because I'm up and down and on the floor and under tractors and stuff like that, under cars, whatever, working on four wheelers. Um, so I wanted one of these and I like this. This is, uh, we're going to pull the scale out right here and I'll show you what this weighs. I was thinking about getting the Rock Island one, but the Rock Island one is really rough. And I, if you look back in my videos, I had a 85 before and it was outstanding. I really liked it, but it was only five shot capacity. And I knew I wanted a six shot revolver. I had a Model 64 snub before that I loved. I should have never sold it. It was stupid. It was one of the Brinks contract guns, you know, stainless Smith. It had bobbed hammer on it. It's double action only. It was beautiful trigger. Stupidly, I sold that. And, you know, I think a lot of us have all sold a gun that we should have never done. But, um... So anyhow, I, I jumped on this because the price was right, and you know I liked the one before. And let's take a look at our weight here. That's in pounds. I'm gonna go to ounces. So 21.90, and it's listed as 22 ounces. So 21.90 unloaded. So it's a very handy size. It's easily concealable. I would love to just throw this in a jacket pocket, even though it has a hammer on it. It's still gonna cycle. In theory, it should cycle reliably inside a pocket being fired through a garment if necessary. So that gives you, you can't have better concealment than that. If they can't even see you draw and you're just shooting through your clothing, how cool is that, right? It's a fantasy, but you know, it may happen unfortunately with the way things are going right now. So, this is the model 856 by Taurus. I'll bring it in close here for you to take a look at it. Again, available in lots of different options. If you go on their website, there's a huge section for the 856, and then there's tabs for the barrel length. So there's 2-inch, 3-inch. This one happened to be a California-approved one. There's no difference in it. Um, it's just that it's on their approved roster. So there's no difference in trigger pull weight or capacity or anything like that. So um, unfortunately, like I said, it's going to be going away. So I'm not going to have a chance. I don't even want to shoot it. I'm just going to give it right back to him and say fix it, right? Um, and then, before, like I said, before I send it off, though, I'm going to show a couple holster options. So stay tuned for the video on that. The other thing I want to mention really quick so I can wrap this video up is the person that won the Millennium G2, uh, G3, blah, blah, blah holster never claimed it. So... I'm either going to make a new video, no I'm not going to make a new video. What I want to happen is if you watch this video and you want this holster and you will actually look and read your comments that you responded here, what I want you to do is put a, pick a number um, 1 through 25 and when I have 5 people that have commented, the first 5 people that comment that they want this and they put a number in there and they'll respond to when I message them back, I'm going to respond to your comment. So check your notifications and come back and check this video. As soon as I have five people, I'm going to, um, I'm going to get a stack of, um, three by five cards, one through 25. We'll shuffle them up and I'll draw one. And then, uh, that's how we will come up with who's going to end up the closest number. Uh, to the number that is drawn is going to be this owner. And of course, I pay for shipping. You don't pay for anything. You just get a free holster from me. So thank you guys for watching. Always shoot safe and uh, have a happy spring now that it's here.